Yeah, I think there are three main messages that come out of the report that I think are really important. One is the need for the regulatory agencies to really take a balanced approach uh, as they look at the future products of biotechnology and what they might bring. You know, I think that there are a lot of different attitudes and opinions around some of those future products, and all of those points of view are going to have to be brought together uh, as the regulatory agencies think about what we should do next and how we should proceed and, and, and what types of information should be gathered. I think another uh, part of the main message uh, coming out of a report uh, is the profusion of products of biotechnology that we expect might be present in that five to ten year time frame. Uh, the scale, scope, complexity, and tempo uh, is something that's going to be a challenge for the regulatory agencies to deal with, and I think they need to think about uh, how they're going to deal with that. I think a third main message coming out of uh, the report is the need to really think about investment in regulatory science, investment in time, developing the understanding that's required uh, and that's going to be needed as we get to uh, this really interesting set of uh, new products of biotechnology um, in terms of what they might offer, but also how to think about their interactions with the broader environment. Uh, they're going to be more complicated. Uh, they're going to be different scope than we currently see. I think those are really the three main things uh, coming out of our report that are very important.